Let me tell you something I wish somebody had told me on my first day. Being a spy is nothing like you see on TV. Showdowns in exotic locales, death-defying car chases, seemingly limitless food and beverage per diems. Uh-uh. Those days are over. What we deal with is the collection and manipulation of information plain and simple. And thanks to the wonders of telephone communication, we don't even have to leave our desks anymore. Is it fun? Not really. Does it pay well? Well, that depends on how long you've been here. But listen, if you keep your head down and do what's asked of you, 50, 20 years down the line, you could have a nice looking corner office just like this one. Heated underground parking too. <laughs> Not too shabby, is it? I'd rather be a real spy, thanks. A real spy is someone who gets their information undetected and unseen. No better way to do that than through a telephone. What's your name again? Numi Kovacs. Strong name for a spy. Let's see if you live up to it. Since it's your first day, let's see what they taught you in the academy. The woman we're about to call is Lacey Mendoza. She's a production manager at our latest competitor, Rev Inc. Our top engineer, a fellow by the name of Sebastian Cartwright, was working on a top secret project when he was abducted along with his plans. We're beginning to think that Cartwright might be involved in whatever they're doing over there at Rev, and possibly against his will. There's three things I'm gonna need you to find out. One, where this test facility is located. Two, what's the easiest point of entry? And three, whether or not they have Sebastian. I pulled all the information I could on Lacey and compiled it in this scrapbook. It's not much, but it might help you gild the lily. Any questions? How do I use the scrapbook? It's a scrapbook. You turn the pages with your hands and look through it with your eyes. Then your eyes take what they see to your brain, and your brain uses that to come up with ideas. Though maybe not in your case. Any advice? Get her to trust you. Pretend to be someone from her past. Someone she cares for, but hasn't kept in touch with. Uh, old classmate, former co-worker, that sort of thing. Whatever you do, don't pretend to be a loan manager. You won't make it past hello. What's Rev Inc? No idea. There's nothing on the books to prove it exists. My guess is that it's just a front for one of the big boys. Tell me more about Sebastian. Brilliant engineer. Bit of an eccentric. Has a Jones for clean energy. Whatever that is. Enough talk. Let's call her up. This is an important mission, so make it count. Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? This is Sheila Arbogast from the London branch. Uh, the London branch of what? The, uh, thing you do. Your company. Um... First of all, we're not a company, we're a community. And secondly, we don't have a London branch, but we will. Don't talk specifics unless you know them to be true. Let's give it another try. Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? Only the best roommate you've ever had. Clara? You sound really different. Well, it has been over a decade. It's been less than five years, Clara. How could you not remember that? Only five years? Wow, uh, time sure grinds to a halt when you're not around.
You're not with Docilio, are you? Who's Docilio? Never mind. We've just had a lot of outside interference lately, and we need to be extra careful about who we speak to. So if you really are Clara, I'm going to need some proof. Why don't we start with you telling me the address of our old apartment? Four seven three Lansing Crescent. No, that was the address for the house I grew up in. The only roommates I had back then were my mother and sister. How could you possibly know that? I remember everything. You must have told me at some point. Well, if you remember everything, then you should remember the address that we lived at for four years together. What was it? Forty-two Overlook Terrace. Wow, it really is you! But how on earth did you get this number? Your ex gave it to me. He did? How did he... What did he say? He's hurt that you left. Good. After years of sabotaging hard-working people to line his pockets, he deserves to be hurt. You can tell him I'm in a good relationship now, with someone who wants to help the world move forward, not backwards. And while you're at it, tell him to stop using my idiot friends to do his dirty work. Next time, you might want to take a closer look at the case file before stepping into it like that. Well, you got one out of three. Not terrible for a first try. Who knows? Maybe in a few years you'll be ready to mend the phones for real. Why don't you take a coffee break and then get started on some light clerical work? I think that's more your speed. Not much competition in this employee of the month game, is there? Not as long as I'm around. Nice haircut. Better times. Have you ever thought about growing it back? Every single day. So, what should I call you? Barney? Mr. Turner? Folks around here call me Turn. Does that mean they're going to start calling me Koba? No. All right. Good talk. When's our next case? We don't have a next case. That phone call was a taste of what you might get to do in a few years, after you pay your dues. I've done four years of espionage school. I've paid my dues. Company policy. All outside intelligence employees must have two years experience before accepting missions. No exceptions. Let's go on one of your missions then. A real one. Out in the field. I haven't done field work since I was with the government. If you ask me, waste of time. You were a government agent. Like the kind that kill people and blow stuff up? I was, but that was a decade ago, and I don't really like to reminisce. Why? Did you get fired? Where did you hear that? I didn't. I'm just wondering why someone would quit such a cool job to work for a car company. That's really none of your business. A and if I was fired, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to tell me if you didn't get fired. I shouldn't have even told you that I worked there in the first place. Ah, is that why you got fired? None of your business. You got fired. Is there any chance we might be called in to do field work? The only way you would be called in to do field work is if every agent in this office were to become incapacitated. <laughs> so, 
Like if I made them all sick or got them to quit? Something like that? Are you planning something? No, I'm just a very curious person. Why don't you go be curious somewhere else? I'm gonna go get some coffee. Suit yourself. Hi, I'm Numi Kovacs. Well, 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 you must be the latest Oi Boy. Oi? Outside intelligence, O-I, Oi. Listen, kid, if you want to stand out and be seen as spectacular, it's best that you take to our office vernacular. Let me introduce myself. Hab Applecott's the name. Equipping agents is my claim to fame. You need gadgetry, you come to me. Forgery too, I'll make you an honorary degree. Do you have any advice on how I can get some field work? Around here, that's unfortunately Horace's domain. And between you and me, that's a downright shame. He won't use my inventions, says he's found better kinds. But that's only because he pockets everything he finds. If I were in charge, I'd send him on a permanent vacation. But Turn won't do it. I think he fears retaliation. Could you help me replace Horace in the field? Well, Horace is more a pain than I'd like to admit. Too loose with his lips and totally lacking in wit. But going out on a limb for a perfect stranger? Why, a stunt like that could put my job in danger. I promise to return the favor. And what makes you think you'll be around to repay? Turns fired assistance after only one day. I'm super strong, like a bull. A scrapbook is all that you need to be lifting. Muscles won't make you better at grifting. I'll charm him with my good looks. Turn hasn't shown interest in anyone in years. Giving an answer like that just confirms all my fears. I have no social life, so I'm always free to work well into the night. Considering you're getting paid by the hour, that's not exactly a superpower. I'm smart. Practically a genius. Intelligence is something that one has to prove. Alright, go ahead and make your first chess move. QB8 to QB7. There's a pawn in that spot, you crazy cretin. <laughs> One move in and you're already beaten. The peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. It's a legume. Intelligence and knowledge aren't one and the same. Just spitting out trivia is both boring and lame. How about a game of checkers instead? That right there is an amusing joke, but I won't stick my neck out for the intellectually broke. What can I say to impress you today? There's a step in the right direction. Keep bringing the rhymes and you might pass inspection. Feel free to inspect my poetic license, after which we'll begin our mutual connivance. Your words are wrong. The rhymes are slant. You should be hit in the face with an antique lamp. All right, now you've got me doing it. I'll stand here for weeks on end, if that's what it takes to call you friend. You've impressed me thus far, but how long can that last? My knowledge is vast. That didn't sound strong. Your timing's all wrong. Let's try again. You've impressed me thus far, but how long can that last? When you find out the answer, you'll be somewhat aghast. Hmm, when it comes to Western poetry, you're clearly a beast. 
Now how about a form that began in the east? The syllable count of five, seven, five is a perfect way to keep the brain cells alive. Now, with a haiku, I'll be impressed through and through and maybe help you. The egg is white, pure, unwavering, and bright. Does that make it right? Eggshell is the word that you should have used instead. You went under par. Shut up, you old man. I've had enough of your games. You're making me feel slightly deranged. It's 575. Five. Do you not know how to count? Say it like so. We know what you need, so don't worry your dumb head, the early birds say. Your poetic prowess has left me feeling quite odd. As a man of my word, I'll assist with your fraud. This fake ID should serve you just fine. But if anyone asks, the hands that made them were not mine. Will this give me access to the photocopier? Without an official tracker, there's little that card can do. If you want real privileges, you might try a switcheroo. Who's going to be dumb enough to fall for that? Check another floor if you can't find someone nearby. As long as you stay persistent, you're sure to find your guy. Thanks, Hab. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. This fake key card doesn't work. Big surprise. Outside Intelligence is looking to start a competitive Jai Alai team to play against the Bellows Bloodhounds. What the heck is Jai Alai? It's pronounced High Lai. What the heck is High Lai? If you don't even know what it is, you're not welcome on the team. There are a lot of people in there. About 50 at least. Locked. Looks like it needs a passcode. That desk's a little tall, isn't it? It's meant for standing. Why would anyone want to stand when they could sit? You'll understand when you're old. Font's pretty hard to read. <laughs> it's not a font, it's a foreign film from Japan. Well, yeah, I knew that. The Japanese language also has fonts, and uh, this one's pretty hard to read. Good movie? Utterly breathtaking. It's almost 20 years old and still ahead of its time. I'd love to see it. Well, it's very hard to get a hold of to be in the right circles, which you're obviously not. Looks like these mail slots connect to the bullpen on the other side. Ah, ah, ah! All inter-agent communication must be approved by yours truly. Out of order. Guess I'll have to hold it. the halls already, are we? Turns out I could have a break. Well, now I have to commit three of my best agents to undoing the damage you've done with that phone call. I tried my best. Oh, I'm sure you did. But to keep this office running as smoothly as possible, perhaps you'll consider making this break a permanent one. You want me to quit? Quit, step down, early retirement without benefits. Why get hung up on titles? All that matters is that you're happy. Why don't you think about it and get back to me? Who are you? Thornton Panderbrook. 
Office Manager, Division of Outside Intelligence, Air Apparent to Penderbrook Motors, International Traveler, Raconteur, and Bon Vivant. Oh, well, my name's Numi. Mm. I'd like to do a field mission. A field mission? <laughs> ho, 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 that's right! Most of our work is handled over the phone these days. We only have one agent in the field. There's no need for any more. Is there any situation where I could work in the field? For that to happen, every single agent in this office would have to become indisposed. So it is possible, then. If that kind of wild optimism is what you need to continue your interminable existence, far be it from me to tell you otherwise. Can I have the code for the outbound research division? The bullpen for the telephone division falls under Mr. Turner's domain, and he prefers to um, keep that to himself. My only dealings with him is through the company mail system. Turn doesn't trust you. It's my understanding that Mr. Turner lost his government position due to information about him being leaked. Ever since then, he's been very <laughs> particular about office protocols. I should get back to work. Before you do, let me ask you a question. Have you ever taken the time to stroll the docile woods? I prefer the city. Well, that wasn't the answer I was looking for, but I suppose I should have assumed based on your attire. Off you go! What is it now? I gotta go. Do be a stranger. reason to be fiddling with that contraption? Not really. Then don't. New site in an old place. Name's Horace. Horace Haynes. Hi, I'm Numi. Numi, Numi, Numi. Another name I'm gonna have to learn to forget. What do you mean? Let me guess. New kid, fresh out of the academy, ready to travel the world and set it on fire. Problem is, Penderbrook's only got room for one field agent. You're looking at him. I have a lot to offer. Oh, I'm sure you do. But once you realize all you're going to be doing is answering phones and ordering lunches, you'll go somewhere else, just like the rest. Why don't I save you some time? The Bellows Agency just opened an outfit across town and are looking to poach as many of our agents as they can. Why don't you give her a call? Head off to greener pastures. Uh -huh. 